Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all have enjoyed the weekend. Students, I have posted about common noun and proper noun, countable and uncountable noun in the previous videos. In this class, I am going to teach you about abstract noun and the concrete noun. Students, can we see, touch, taste, smell and hear, honesty, patience, truth, guilt and hate? No. We can't be detected or experienced through our five senses. Something that is abstract exists only in mind is called abstract nouns. Such a things cannot be seen, heard, smelled, tasted or touched. Students, abstract nouns are like opposite of concrete nouns. Now you can easily define what is abstract noun. Let's know about abstract noun. Abstract noun refers to things that cannot be detected through our five senses. Abstract nouns name an idea, moment, quality or concept. For example, beauty, curiosity, love, happiness, knowledge, wisdom, health. Students, we can only feel in our mind but we cannot detect or express these feelings through our five senses. Here we have some more examples. Let's see. Here we go with abstract nouns examples. Love, bravery, friendship, health, happiness, excitement, talent, childhood, anger, wealth and knowledge. Students, let's memorize some more abstract nouns. Here you have a task over here. Identify the abstract nouns from the sentence. First one, I take pride in my work. Do not test my patience. Happiness and sadness are two sides of coin. Experience is the mother of wisdom. The first sentence answer is pride. Pride we can't detect through our five senses. Patience, happiness as well as sadness and wisdom. So students, I hope you have enjoyed learning abstract nouns. So here we go with the concrete nouns. Concrete nouns refers to things that can be recognized through our five senses. Students, do you know what is concrete means? Concrete means existing in material and physical form. Experience with your five senses. For example, these things can be seen, heard, smelled, tasted or touched. In other words, concrete nouns refers to physical objects have mass. For example, ball, water, glass, bridge, pen, and chair and many are there like clock, tower, park, star, lamp, computer, monuments etc. So students in the end of the session you have a task over here you have to identify abstract nouns as well as concrete nouns from these sentences. So here we go with the task. He was given an award for his courage. The door slammed shut. She believed in justice above all. Time is a great teacher. She craved freedom. So students, courage, justice, time and freedom we can't detect with our five senses. So it comes under abstract noun and door has a physical form. So it comes under the concrete noun. Meet you in the next session. Thank you.